All right, I'm making a quick video on compound inequalities with uh, variables on both sides. This one's for you, Baker, because you asked about it, and I didn't really have one to show you, so here it is. Um, so when I have compound inequalities, of course, I'm dealing with inequalities that have two components to it and or statements, essentially. If you don't know about them, there's another video about that, so watch that. Um, as far as this is concerned, or the ones I'm working with here, uh, these are ones that have variables on both sides, which is kind of just a combination of things that you've probably already done if you're at this point in your uh, career in algebra. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify what type of statement it is. It's an OR statement, which means I could probably guess that it's the arrows are going to be facing away from each other because we're, uh, our solution set will be one or the other as opposed to a combination of both. So from here, I'm going to do uh, 4R plus 4 is less than or equal to negative 10 plus 7r and then over here I'll do 8 minus 7r is greater than, I was going to say less than there, greater than minus 6r. So I'm just going to solve these separately. I'm going to add um, or subtract 7r from this side if I can get the pen to work um, just to try to get all my r's and basically in the same exact place. My pen's being weird right now. Um, so these cancel. Uh, 5 minus 7 is negative 2r. I deal with plus 4 minus 10. Subtract 4 on both sides. These cancel. Negative 2r minus 14. I'm going to divide by negative 2, which means since I divided here, I'm going to flip this over and it becomes greater than or equal to. So r is greater than or equal to positive 7. On the flip side over here, I'm going to do um, plus 6r. I tend to like to get my variables all on the left side just because it makes it easier to graph them later, but I mean you could move the 7r over here if you want. I also tend to start with the variables even though it's okay to start with the constant terms if you'd like to do that, but I tend not to do that just because it helps me from a, it helps me to avoid um, all real numbers and no solution situations that I don't notice that they're that until way too late. So um, from here I need to get rid of plus 8. So subtract 8 on this side. I get negative 5 over here. I'm going to divide by negative 1. And from here I get r. And of course since this is negative I need to flip it over is less than 5. So I'm going to go up to 7. I'm going to make my circle. I'm going to fill it in because it's got a line underneath it. And the story says r is greater than 7. So I'm going to go up from 7. On the other side of it, the r is less than 5 means I need to go to 5 and make a circle. There's no line underneath it, so I, don't not, I do not need to fill it in. And then r is less than 5 would go this way, furthering my idea that it was probably arrows pointing opposite directions. So in this case, it is. Um, let's check to see if I'm right, because as if you've seen any of these before, it's possible that I'm totally wrong. Uh, but in this case, I am correct, so the fates have aligned with me. Um, that's that one. Let's look at another one. Uh, this one is an OR statement as well. You'd handle it exactly the same way. I put it on there in case there were some problems in the first one that were sort of weird, but in this case, it's fine. Um, now let's look at this one. It, this is an AND statement. Anytime you have this part in the middle, it means they're going to share uh, the solution data. So there's probably going to be the barbell situation you may have heard me talk about before. Um, so this is the middle part. That's the part I need to replicate for both problems. So I have one, this is negative 6 plus 5n is less than or equal to 9 minus 10n. On the flip side, 9 minus 10n is less than or equal to 9 minus 6n. If I can get that to work, there we go. Draw the line. I need to subtract 9 uh, on both sides, or that's what I'm going to do here. Like I said, you can do it both ways. I just wanted to make a point about it. These actually cancel. And this is where a lot of people tend to get stuck. They have no idea what to do here. But I still need to get my variable terms on the same side, so I'll add 6 in. And this problem is a lot of, uh, it's sort of like you're used to just marking them out. But really what's supposed to be there is a 0. You just don't need to put it in most cases. In this case, you do. So negative 4m divided by negative 4. I'm dividing by a negative here, so I need to flip over my inequality n is greater than or equal to 0. Whereas in an equation, if you get that 0, you know you can just say x is 0. 
or whatever the letter is. In this case, in an inequality situation, you need to keep going because you have to know what happens to that inequality. Like I wouldn't have known it flipped over, and that makes a lot of difference in my final answer. On the flip side, um, this is supposed to be, I don't know why I wrote, oh, 10n. That's important. That was the part that was a problem. That was messing with me. So I'm going to add 10n to both sides, maybe. 9, I'm going to minus 6 plus 5 plus 10 is 15, of course. I'm going to add 6 to that. So I end up with 15n equals 15. And this, is, this means I don't need to flip it over because it's positive. So n is less than 1. So this is a really small uh, solution set. I end up with a circle at 0. And it's going to go up. And then I end up with a circle at 1. And it goes down. Kind of looks like a little pair of glasses there. So that's my solution set. Anything between 0. Oh, I forgot. You need to fill those in. My bad. They're greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So it needs to be filled in. So now it stops looking like glasses and looks a little bit more like sunglasses, maybe. I don't know. Bow tie. So there it is. 0 is less than n is less than or equal to 1. Oh, I should have mentioned this notation that they used, which is really smarter than to use. Um, it basically, you just put the numbers in numerical order. So you put 0 here and 1 here. And the n goes in the middle, because it's greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. So that kind of uh, look always sells pretty well. And um, let's see, there's one more, I think. Yeah, let's just do this one. I'll split it and then uh, we'll get it going pretty quickly and finished. So my middle part here, of course, is the 9m plus 10. So that's going to go to both sides. So I end up with 4m, or both equations, is less than 9m plus 10. And of course, I should mention while I'm writing all this out, and you're watching me do it, um, this is an and statement because it's got the middle part. So if it said and or it looks like this, it means you're going to get that barbell style. Uh, draw your line, subtract 9m. Those cancel, negative 5m, minus 5, bring down your 10, add 5 over here and add 5 over here. Negative, I was thinking ahead, negative 5m plus 15, that's where the 15 comes in. That's supposed to be a 5, that's really difficult to see, but that's the goal there. Divide by negative 5, m and since this is a negative, I need to flip it over, is greater than negative 3. On the flip, negative 2m, or minus 2m, I should say. Those cancel 7m plus 10, and this is plus 10 as well. Subtract 10 on this side, subtract 10 on this side, cancel. Uh, once again, you end up with a 0 here. You can divide by 7. In this case, I'm not flipping it over, so the 0 thing was fine. I could have just brought it down, but it makes more sense to do this. So I'm going to go to 0, and I'm going to make a circle. And because it's equal to, I'm going to fill it in. And that one is going to be less than, so it goes this way. And then at negative 3, I need to make a circle. And it's not filled in, because there's no equal to part of it. And it is m is greater than, so it looks just like this. So that's the setup. It works exactly the same as the other compound inequalities, but you get to cover the idea of getting them both. Oh, and I should have also mentioned that in order to get this in proper notation form, uh, whoever sees this will probably want to see this kind of negative 3 is less than m is less than or equal to 0 notation just to have that whole uh, mathematical sentence all in one part. But that's it. Uh, not a huge deal. And uh, I hope that you found this helpful to you. And if not, I really am sorry. So.